AEMC Instruments Micro Ohm Meter Model 6240 is a rugged low resistance tester designed for both indoor and field use. Typical applications for this instrument includes measuring resistance for metallic coatings, especially in aeronautics, ground connections and continuity, motors and small transformers, breakers and switches, electrical cables, wired to terminal connections, and rail bonds, among others. The model 6240 measures the resistance from 5 micro ohms to 400 ohms. The instrument provides selectable test currents of 10 amps, 1 amp, 100 milliamps, and 10 milliamps, and includes a polarity reversal function. Up to 99 measurements can be stored in memory. The model 6240 employs the Kelvin testing method to measure very low resistances to within a quarter of a percent accuracy. Kelvin testing uses two separate pairs of leads. One pair, called the source leads, provide a known quantity of constant current. The second pair, called the sense leads, measures voltage. There is virtually no current flowing through the sense leads. Nearly all the current flows through the source leads. This allows for a high level of measurement sensitivity and accuracy when the load under test is of low resistance. This video is the first of a two-part series describing how to use the Model 6240. In this video, we explain how to set up and run a test on the instrument. In a separate video, we will show how to download the test results to your computer using AEMC's DataView software. For our demonstration, we will connect the instrument to a 166.6 microohm shunt and run a one-minute test with a current of 10 amps. To make the connection, we will use HIPPO-type Kelvin clips. The Model 6240 also accepts alligator and spring tip probes. Be sure all leads are correctly attached to the instrument's terminals, as explained in a separate AEMC video. And when using HIPPO or alligator probes, ensure that both jaws are in contact with the resistor under test. One jaw functions as a source lead and the other as a sense lead. Therefore, both must be in firm contact with the resistor surface to provide an accurate measurement. Before we begin, let's take a moment to get acquainted with the Model 6240 user interface. Below the LCD are five function buttons. The memory button, labeled MEM, stores the test in the instrument's memory where it can be subsequently viewed on the LCD and downloaded to a computer running data view. This button also initiates auto mode, which we explain later in this video. Below the memory button is the clear button, labeled CLR. This removes the selected test from the instrument's memory. To the right of the memory button is the memory recall button, labeled MR. This displays records stored in memory. The next button to the right is the polarity button, labeled plus or minus one. This reverses the polarity of the test current and displays the average of the two polarity measurements. This is useful for minimizing the effects of stray DC currents when measuring very low resistances. This button also serves as the up arrow in user configurable screens, such as those displayed in setup mode. Display toggles between displaying current measurements and voltage measurements. This button also functions as a right arrow in user configurable screens. To the right of the LCD is the instrument selection dial. This dial turns the instrument on and off, places the instrument in setup mode, and selects the test current and resistance and current range. Below the dial is the start stop button for starting and pausing test measurement sessions. The model 6240 interface is described in detail in the user manual that accompanies the instrument. We begin our simple demonstration by turning the dial on the Model 6240 to setup. After a few seconds, the first setup screen appears. Setup screens allow you to set several configuration parameters on the instrument. Use the right button to cycle through the setup screens to ensure the settings are appropriately configured for the test you want to run. For example, to review the instrument's time, press the right button once to display the current time setting. If this is incorrect, Press and hold down the right button until the setting blinks. 
then use the up button to change the setting. Use the right and up buttons to make any other required configuration modifications, as explained in the Model 6240 user manual. When the configuration is set, you are ready to take a resistance measurement. If the resistance you are testing is unknown, we suggest starting with the instrument's highest resistance range and then lowering the range until you obtain meaningful results. In our demonstration, we are using a shunt of known resistance, so we will turn the dial to the 10 amp 4000 microohm setting. To begin the test, press the start stop button once. After a moment, the resistance of current measurements appear in the LCD. As you can see, current is slightly over 10 amps and resistance is approximately 167 microohms. Note that you can also display the test voltage by pressing the display button. In our example, test voltage is approximately 1.7 millivolts. To end the test, press start stop a second time. The word hold appears on the screen, indicating the test has been halted. To resume the test, press start stop. To save the stop test in the instrument's memory, press the memory button. This displays the default object number and test number under which this test will be saved. An object can contain multiple tests similar to a folder containing multiple files. You can accept the displayed object and test numbers or change them by pressing the up button and then using the up and right buttons to make changes. To save the test to memory, press the memory button and hold it down until the word done appears. Stored tests can be viewed in the model 6240's LCD. To do this, press the memory recall button. This displays the last test viewed. Press the up button to display any other test in the object. To view tests stored in another object, press the right button and use the up button to select the object number. Note that the model 6240 also provides auto mode, initiated by the auto button. In auto mode, the instrument begins recording a new test each time you connect the probes and ends the test when you disconnect. Tests are automatically incremented and saved with each connection and disconnection. This concludes part one of our Model 6240 demonstration. In part two, we show you how to connect the instrument to a computer to download, display, and analyze the record we have created using AEMC DataView software. And be sure to check our YouTube channel for additional instructional videos about other topics in electronics, including the many products offered by AEMC. Mm -hmm.